Go to Tottenham next and see who you've got for mm. Spurs. Christian Romero, Christian Romero, Mickey Romero van der Ven. Wow. Because I would have instinctively gone with van der Ven. Do you know what? And I have to say, I would have gone with van der Ven. I asked a lot of my Spurs mates who are season ticket holders and they vote for players and they've all voted for Mickey van der Ven. So, as a Spurs fan, how come Romero for you? For me, I think when you look at the back line, he's the one that hasn't changed. Poro, Udogi, van der Ven, they're all newbies coming in. He's the one that almost has the constant, had to, you've, the constant. Mm. and I feel like this season we've all seen the others either out with suspensions or injuries he's again been the constant also the improvements we've seen in his discipline he was always someone who was always cautious uh, uh, you know you were thinking is likely to get sent off this season he's actually been a calm head at the back and I think leadership wise is where I've seen him step up the most he's been I think he scored four or five goals this season in the Premier League as well so he's contributing in the other box which I always yeah. say you want from your centre backs to be a threat but I think but the just breakthrough been, of Mickey this season I think it's because of that it's almost like I was saying with the new shiny toy syndrome and I think he's he's had injuries as well mm. where he's missed uh, a key part for me and I think the way he plays I think when everybody sees that speed they're like wow I don't that think, is something I don't think Spurs have kept a clean sheet without Romero in like the last 15 yeah he's been goes a, back to 2022 he is, a, he's he is the bedrock and the foundation it's yeah. built upon but that's the perfect yin to his yang all right okay well it is two to one so stick him up I've, yeah, I think it's tight. And I saw him, he went to the darts, so that's why I just... <laughs> <laughs> Jack